What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Blockbird Cryptocurrency. We're sitting at a $464 billion market cap. Bitcoin dominance is at 41.3%, which is always good to see. Keep in mind, while 1% more per day might not seem like much, it's actually billions of dollars just to move that BTC dominance, just 1%. So we have a lot of new money flood into the market and a lot of that money is going into Bitcoin. So it looks like we may be on the way to recovery, but who knows? All right, so let's get into, into today's news. So today on Twitter, I posted a tweet about this tour story that I came across. And as you can see, the headline says, tour project almost 100% funded by the US government. And I asked the community, what does this mean for cryptocurrency projects that utilize Tor? Thoughts? So let's look at the story that I sent out and let's talk about privacy coins that utilize Tor and what this may mean. So let's go ahead and go through the story. And this story was found on Zero Hedge. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this blog or news aggregate service but it's a pretty cool web website with a lot of interesting information all right tour project almost 100 percent funded by the u.s government the tour project a private not-for-profit known as the nsa proof gateway to the dark web turns out to be almost 100% funded by the U.S. government, according to documents obtained by investigative journalist and author Yasha Levine. The Tor browser, launched in 2001, utilizes so-called onion routing technology developed by the U.S. Navy in 1998 to provide anonymity over computer networks. In a recent blog post, Levine details how he was able to obtain roughly 2,500 pages of correspondence via FOIA requests, which is Freedom, Freedom of Information Act requests, while performing research for a book. The documents include strategy, contract, budgets, and status updates between the TOR project and its primary source of funding a CIA spinoff known as the Broadcasting Board of Governors, which, quote, oversees America's foreign broadcast operations like Radio Free Asia and Radio Free Europe, end quote. Uh, stupid browser. I think my web page is being bogged down with ads. Sorry about that. Let's continue on. By following the money, I discovered that Tor was not a grassroots project. I was able to show that despite its indie radical cred and claims to help its users protect themselves from government surveillance online, Tor was almost 100% funded by three U.S. national security agencies, the Navy, the State Department, and the BBG. Oh, and there it goes. It's all right. We're freestyling. Let's keep it moving. Following the money, following the money revealed that Tor was not a grassroots outfit, but a military contractor with its own government contractor number. In other words, it was a privatized extension of the very same government that it claimed to be fighting. The documents conclusively show that Tor is not independent at all. The organization did not have free reign to do whatever it wanted, but was kept on a very short lease and bound by contracts with strict contractual obligations. It was also required to file detailed monthly status reports that gave the U.S. government a clear picture of what TOR employees were developing, where they went, and who they saw. Uh, the article gets into exit nodes and Snowden's involvement with Tor. And I don't want this video to go too long. Too long. Um, so you can read the rest. I'll provide a link uh, 
below the video so you can read the rest of the story. But in a nutshell, it looks like Tor is not so grassroots. So naturally, I had to pull up some information on some of our favorite privacy coins. And I'm going to talk about Deep Onion, Verge, and Monero. These were some of the first privacy coins that came to mind. Deep Onion, of course, because, well, its logo is modeled after the Tor logo, and it touts itself as being this hyper-private coin that utilizes Tor. And I also looked into Verge, which is another very popular cryptocurrency. I think it's the second most popular privacy coin behind Monero. And so finally, we're going to get into the granddaddy of privacy coins, Monero. And we're going to see, do these cryptos utilize Tor? And if they do utilize Tor, is your information being hacked by intelligence officials? So let's get into the first project, Deep Onion. So many of us like Deep Onion. It, uh, it's a privacy coin. It's well established, has a really nice circulating surprise, uh, supply, and it has a very strong community. And it has a lot going on for it. It's on a reputable exchange. It's just, this is one of those coins that has been sort of one of the golden child, golden children of the market. You know, it has a lot of big fans. So constant updates, latest tour, Deep Onion integration with QBFS4, untraceable payments. You can find it on Ku, uh, KuCoin, which is a really good exchange. Instant confirmations, highly secure, and airdrops. So, you know, there's a lot to like about this coin. Introducing Deep Vault. Deep Vault is an information store that is held within the blockchain, meaning that data is immutable forever. More specifically, Deep Vault allows Onion members to store file validation credentials. Okay, that's pretty cool. In light of this information about Tor, I don't know how cool that is now, but let's look at the roadmap here for Q, uh, 2018 Q1. It looks like they've released their white paper launching Deep Onion Vote Central, hiring a public hero, launch mobile device wallets, Q8, uh, Q2 Q of 2018 is going to be just as busy. So there's a lot of good things to be said about Deep Onion. But here's the, here's the thing though. An anonymous and 100% untraceable cryptocurrency sent through the Tor network. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Uh, this is not about FUD. This is about just being wise and savvy, knowing what we do know about Tor. Uh, do you think people are going to take too kindly to this? Do you take too kindly to this if you are a deep onion investor? I am not, however it was a coin that I was thinking about investing in. And in fact, I was going to probably do a quick dirty deals episode on, but obviously I am reconsidering my options, but we'll see how the community takes this information. Now moving along to another popular cryptocurrency. And this one has the I believe, like I said, the second biggest privacy coin market cap is Verge, which was, of course, made famous and went on this really huge moonshot a couple of months ago because of John, well, I'm going to say because, but John McAfee, of course, is a big fan of this coin. And I think this was actually his very first recommendation before that all kind of fell apart. So we all know Verge's story. And let's see how Verge maintains its privacy. So completely anonymous privacy focus. Verge uses multiple anonymity centric networks such as Tor and I2P. The IP addresses of the users are obfuscated 
and the transactions are completely untraceable. Okay, so that's actually better news to hear that they utilize both Tor and I, uh, I2P. So hopefully, in light of this information, they may just totally switch to I2P and take Tor out of the equation. So uh, if that's something you want to look more into, you can. I'm not sure if it's something that they split up or if you have a choice, but nevertheless, we do know that it uses two methods of maintaining anonymity. All right, and so let's get into what I would say is probably the most important coin. I think how maybe Bitcoin affects markets as a whole, maybe Monero probably does the same with privacy coins. Uh, that's Don't quote me on that, but it's just something that I suspect. So I think confidence in, in Monero is important for the rest of the privacy cryptocurrency space. So the big question, does Verge utilize Tor? Well, let's get into a discussion about Monero. So I was going through Reddit posts and, you know, looking at what people, developers and users are saying about Monero. And here's what someone had to say. Hello, I have successfully installed Monero in sync with the blockchain without Tor, successfully installed Tor and working for web SSH, hidden service, etc running uh, Monero Rod with Tor stocks over Tor Sync without problems. Um, then someone asked, sorry, I can't help, but can you tell me why people want slash need to run Monero over Tor? Is Monero privacy not enough? And there were some other forums where people were discussing about how to run Monero through Tor, but the good news is, in this case, it wasn't a default, okay? And I think that's really important to note, that it was not a default. So, you know, I think you can sleep easy on that note, that Monero uh, is, is truly a privacy coin, and your information is not being hacked by the U.S. Navy and the uh, other intelligence agencies and military organizations. So that's really good news to hear. With all that being said, how does this affect you? Well, I think that's a decision you're gonna have to make if you are comfortable with the U.S. government funding tour. Uh, I would really love to hear from developers or people who are more familiar, familiar with the Tor network and what they think the consequences of this will be. So, but anyways, just wanted to share that news with, with you guys. I think this is really important and I wanted to get this out here. And uh, I wanted to also update, before I close out, I wanted to update you on some more channel stuff. If you want to check out the um, daily quick dirty deals, well, that's not gonna be daily. And hunting for good deals, I noticed there's a lot of crap out there and there are not 365 deals. You know, that's if I, of course, were to do that on a daily basis. So I'm thinking about making it a weekly thing or maybe twice a week. I don't know, we'll see. It could be two times a week or three times a week or maybe just one time a week, but I don't want to, you know, dilute the product. That's to say, do a daily video or do a, do a daily quick, dirty deal if it's not really a great deal. You know, I'm looking for 10X, 25X, 50X gains. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and I think that's about all. Of course, this is none of this stuff is financial advice. Do your own due diligence. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, click the bell. If you want to get immediate updates, that will be especially helpful when I do my quick, dirty deals. And also follow me on Twitter at Blockbird Cryptocurrency. That's Blockbird underscore IO. 
if you want to get the quick dirty crypto deal before I release it on YouTube. Well, that's it guys. And thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Bye.